We are at 2G Tooling in Southam and we're going to look at the Microlock work holding solution that you have here on your Quasar. Now, Chris, why do you use Microlock work holding? Simple versatility. It gives us so many options on, on how to clamp stuff and different ways of holding. Now you have a large press tool on here that's covering most of your machine bed. Now, if you wanted to do smaller parts, would this system with the two grid plates that you've got enable you to do that as well? Yes. I'm going to say, depending on how many voices you have, we can hold probably 30 or 40 parts on there at a time, depending on the setup and the size of them. Now, explain how it gives you versatility with the different formations and clamps that you have and stops. Well, as you see on there, we've got a, a very rectangular block, nice and simple. But this is also able to hold angular faces. Uh, we can also screw faces onto it. So you could put a screwed round face onto the front to hold as a clamp. So you can hold rounds, varying things. So with the actual clamps and the backstops, you can't see the backstops. So they're, other so they're at the other side of the component. But can you effectively just move them around as you will on the grid plates? And can you add more stops and clamps? Yes, yes. You've got, a, you've got a grid there and you can put as many as you want necessary really. You add stops to, to the bits so they're all positioned from separate uh, positionings, like in six all, all equally spaced or whatever, and then just pick them up. So it's a little bit like a, a work holding Meccano set. Yeah, generally, pretty much, pretty much. Now, in regards to clamping force, I think this application that you've got here be behind you speaks for itself. What is the clamping force like? Clamping force is excellent. I'm going to say these are only small voices, yet we're talking, oh, I think it's well over a ton of clamping force per voice. So it gives you plenty. As you can see, size of that, we've only got two voices on it. Now this is, is, is op one, so I mean the repeatability is not really an issue there, but what about for second op work and repeatability? What's it, what's it fair like with that? Repeatability is brilliant. You put the little end stops in, you set them up to the thing, it's almost like jigging. It's, it's like jigging clamping. It's put them in, push them up, and away they go. You have three machines here that do the press tools uh, predominantly for the automotive industry. Do, do you use Microlock on, on all three machines? Yes, we've got Microlock on all three. Uh, the smaller machines, we've got a, a, an individual plate which is the same size as this. And then the, the larger machine, we've got a little bed plate, which we tend not to use on that, but it's used. So for, for, the, for the little machine, when you're doing irregular shaped parts as well, how do you hold them with Microlock? Because, you know, is it just for prismatic parts or can you, you hold irregular shapes as well? No, you can hold irregular shapes. You can actually basically put uh, fixture in on the front of the jaw and then machine a shape into the front of the jaw and hold it as if you were like a soft jaw in a similar way to that. So that's even more vers versatility. Chris, thank you very much. No problem, cheers.